Hi everyone, welcome back to the channel. This is Emma and Georgia, and today we are watching How to Get Away with Murder, Season 3, Episode 11. If you want to watch our uncut reactions, the link to the Patreon is down below. So last episode, we saw the aftermath of Wes's death, and everyone was grieving over him in their own different ways. Connor was quite destructive and heartless to everyone. He, <laughs> yeah. he told Laurel that she should get an abortion because Waitlist wouldn't have been a good father. And so Asher punched him and Michaela was more mad at Asher in the situation somehow. We both completely disagreed with that because his way of grieving is just taking it out on the people around him. Yeah. And it, it's horrible. Like, what he said is it's just not right. You don't say that to Laura. She's literally in her hospital bed in pain, knowing the father of her baby is dead. He was going in self-destruct mode because he was telling Oliver to shop them all to the police so that Oliver doesn't get involved and I feel like he's just trying to get the consequences for it. And um, Annalise had her bail hearing and Bonnie was her lawyer um, but the judge sided with the prosecution so now she's got to remain in custody until her trial because they've got a load of evidence stacked up against her in other crimes. They're literally opening up the massive can of worms that is the past, like all the cases. Yeah. I don't want them digging it up. I know it's it's very likely to happen. I just don't want it to. And it had it, to all come up at some point. In the end of the episode, Frank took the rap for it and he said that he's the one that started the fire that killed Wes. So hopefully this means yeah. Annalise will be released. I don't I don't really know how it works. Like, do they instantly believe him? Do they have to take him in because he confessed? I think once you confess, I think they do keep you in a cell mm. and question you because you're a murderer. They've got to question you for that, but he's not off the hook yet. They're going to start asking questions that he's not going to know the answers to because he was the one that bloody did it yeah so, true uh, and even is... if they do keep frank in like to put him on trial and stuff they might keep annalise in as well because they've got other evidence against her with like rebecca's murder and sam's murder it's very messy because they could bring up all sorts in connection mm. and they're all connected to them they could all go to jail so easy right now god this looks uncomfortable <laughs> this <Yeah>. looks terrifying <laughs> how do you know where to find me oh I've got contacts at the station. You know that. Frank's a dodgy dude. Did you kill my father? Ooh. Showdown. I think Laura would approve. Why wouldn't she? You'd be hurting me. Look. <laughs> You're the hurtful friend. Maybe that's what she wants. You don't know her. Not like me. I know that she deserves better than me. Oh, that you. love interest. Battle. <laughs> They're having their lovers. own ship war. <laughs> I know. He's riling him up, but there's no freaking way that Frank killed him. When he saw she wasn't there, he got scared. Tried to leave, so I knocked him out. Chloroform. Cut the gas line. Put the burner going on the stove. Gave me time to get out. They'll be able to tell whether the gas line's been cut or something, won't they? They can tell in an autopsy if there was drugs in the person's system or not. Hi. So we do believe you. Why kill him? What is chloroform? It's like a gas they put over your face and it knocks you out. I tried to be okay with it, but I lost it when I found out she was pregnant. You can't take that I hurt her. It's a plausible case, but it's not the right one. <laughs> My question now is, how do they get Annalise and Frank off the hook? I killed him. Hmm? What? Frank, JFK, and Elvis. Oh. <laughs> what else do you want to know? Get up, you're free to go. What? No. We either we arrest you for obstruction of justice and perjury, <laughs> or you get to go home. We forget this ever happened. It failed. <laughs> you got street cameras outside the station, right? Oh, yeah. uh, if they get him on camera picking him up, that's evidence. I can assure you, my presence is simply about safeguarding your welfare. No, you're afraid we're going to sue. Yeah, you know, for negligence Michaela and punitive damages what's for not providing adequate security to your students. She's done we her simply want to check on your division. 
Wes was a close friend of yours. Not that close, really. Oh no. Regardless, we've all innocence until proven guilty. That applies to Professor Keating, who, who let's be clear, is being framed right for a crime she didn't it's commit. It's good to know Yet that Michaela is on Annalise's side, her, though. This is a first. I understand from a your ass point of view, but not from a looking to the future one. She is a brilliant, empowering force of legal nature, and you should think long and hard before wow, you Wow, these to nice try. words. So rare. Michaela, you feel all right. <laughs> her students are well-educated. She's good at what she does. <laughs> yeah. I'm getting you out of here, Annalise, by the end of the day. Tomorrow at the latest. Trust me. I trusted you to get me out on bail. Look how that went. Wow. I, know, I was just thinking, like, Annalise looks like she has no faith in Bonnie at all. We're on record that Keating acted alone. I know, but that doesn't prove Delfino was involved. He's the last person to see our victim alive. You think any jury's gonna believe he didn't kill him? Sounds like your defense is Loser. weak. You know Laurel Castillo, right? Oh, I don't like this. I haven't been back in the hospital since my wife was sick. Ovarian cancer. It's the hardest thing. Losing someone too soon. Nate, it's don't try and sympathise with her it's when you're working for the DA. You tell Frank you're pregnant. We don't know. I don't feel well. So you didn't tell him? I want you uh, to leave. She didn't tell him, but she's glad he turned himself in. Did Frank confess? Who told you that? Just tell me. Yes, who told you? <sighs> Nate, he just wants to know if Frank knew I was pregnant. Did he? No. I didn't even know. So you're saying you have no other evidence yet? Oh, we have evidence, a mountain of it, and it all points to Annalise Keating. We have evidence, but not in this case. Call Oliver, have him hack the DA. No. He did it for Annalise once already. That was before? Before what? Oh, no. He knows about Sam. I'm gonna go talk to him. No. You messed up, now it's my job to fix it. How is that your job? Who else is going to be the grown up around here? I mean, Bon Bon's here. I'm liking Michaela this episode. <laughs> He's taking the boss role. I need your help. And so does she. And maybe you hate that. And her. Quit your clap trap and get looking for that evidence. But it is on the line here, too. It's as simple as that. Your boy toy got tired of your saddle. Their faces so side by side in that Ooh, manner. Girl. You asleep? Anymore. I thought I would sneak you. Eddie. Totally forgetting more Thanks. of Maggie now than we ever did. I know. You never stopped by. Well, it's because that guy was in here. <laughs> They're both asking questions to each other in an yeah. accusing way. They're answering questions with What's questions. We're not friends, Maggie. Oh. Maybe we could have been when Wes was still here, but he's dead, and it's illegal for you to know details about my medical care when you're not actually my doctor, so... Oh, she's pulling out the legal jargon on her. Getting defensive. I don't think Maggie has any ill intention. I think she just wants to check mm. up on her. I'm not 100% yet, but... Laurel yeah. was always quite sus of Maggie though, wasn't she? Like yeah. she thought she was behind the flyers. She was behind all this. Imagine, imagine Maggie killed Wes and Laurel because she wanted him back or something. Like, if if I can't have him, no one can sort of mentality. We know you know, Oliver. You told them. Don't look at him, right here. <laughs> this is clearly a stressful time for you, as it is for all of us, and I'm sorry about that. Sam? deserved it even annalise would tell you that if she could michaela has never had this viewpoint on it before it's nice to see she's come to the right side of Every the argument you take right now has consequences for us she's just woken up on a different side of the bed this morning mm. <laughs> now you need to hack the da <laughs> she's using that calming manner like a proper therapist <laughs> i've never heard this calm voice from michaela ever it's freaking me out a bit we have enough to charge him give me more time why? I just need to think. Please. She has a personal vendetta against Annalise. Hey, yo. What? Oh. Hey, I'm talking to you. Annalise had nothing to do with this. Of course she did. Really she intimidating loved her. Get the hell away from me, but it beats your face. Damn. Hell yeah. Hey. Hey. She's 
trembling. Here. What? Oh the my only thing goodness. they like smelling more than a man in here is fear. Take it. Oh, I don't want to see her use that weapon. Then why are you here? As my AA friend? Because let me be clear, if anyone offers me any liquor, in the, I'm drinking it. <laughs> I just came to make sure you're okay. That's all. I was not always the glue that held this group together. <laughs> yeah, I was late to the party too. I'm I here. I forget about all that, that Anna wasn't, Anna. Talk that Asha wasn't like actually there uh, and he didn't find out until the end of season two. What's wrong? Uh, I got into Atwood's server looking for stuff that they had on Frank, but it's mostly stuff they had on Annalise. Who is it? Rebecca Sutter. <gasps> Rebecca. Wes was right all that time. They were all telling him that he was crazy for thinking that she was dead. Did she find anything yet? Bonnie was the one that killed her, wasn't it? Yeah. Oh, this is a can of worms. Is she gonna confess to them? You <laughs> screwed up with Annalise. She told me that while you were away. So this is your way of fixing things. Not everything's about Annalise. Frank's oh, not a sucker. Too. He won't fall for this. No. They're investigating her for Sam, uh, the Hapstalls, oh Emily Sinclair, Lila Stangard. Oh my <laughs> god, it's literally everything. Even if they charge Frank for Wes, they're just going to keep coming at you. Why don't they just pin it all on Wes? He's dead anyway. <laughs> but they can't, like, you admit that they knew Wes did it because then they'd all go to. They're, they're an accessory. An accessory. Ask for a deal, say you'll talk. He owes you this. He knows that. You act like you're bringing me a solution. It is. It's a lie. As if you've a never lie. lied before, Annalise. All, all we do is lie on this show. Seriously, we can, we, can, we can break Laura out of here, pick up Aoi and Uber straight to the airport. <laughs> and just leave Annalise behind. It's $100 to renew. I didn't think I'd be able to travel possible. anywhere for a while. She keeps visiting me. She brought me jello. Isn't that just nice? Nice. Oh, she's sus. Or sketchy. Sus. She keeps feeding me jello. This is too weird. Kindness doesn't exist. We have information. We've told you everything we're willing to tell you without a deal. An orphan who fought his way through a difficult foster care system to become something? Ms. Keating is clearly devastated the one thing by the loss she of her do. student. You were his professor and he It is in your interest he didn't to have negotiate a mother with figure. us. So you just stepped right in and took advantance of that. Oh, in this way is an she child. literally was his mom. Burn this poor boy oh, alive. Just think about the pain that he felt as he died. The agony of... You want to see me? Look at my face! Rubbing that in her face. She doesn't know how much she cared about him. No deal. That was a fat waste of time. I like how the world is crashing down around them. And they're just watching TV. <laughs> give it blade. Oh. You're not gonna kill yourself. Just right? give it to me. Even she's looking a bit hesitant. Until we go down. Oh my, oh my god! She's cutting off her weave. What do you, how, why, how short do you want to go? She just can't knit all off. Uh, she's wow. not the same Annalise Keaton anymore. She's just tearing it all out. How have you been doing this? Get up in the morning and go to class. Listen to me complain about my role. You don't have a role. <laughs> See, even that. Pretending like things can be normal again. The new normal. I should have broken up with you, Holly. A long time ago. Just needed you. Mm, but now you're bonded you for too. life. You can't let each other go now. <laughs> Just needs a couple. I so he doesn't view him as a murderer now then. He's still the same to him. Don't let go. If he was scared of him, he would be kicking him out of his apartment. Mm, not getting a spoon. Broke up last spring, and then you started dating Wes. Then Frank killed him because of your little love triangle? It's more complicated than that. I told him I was pregnant. Oh, she's corroborating his story. It was Wes's. So she's claiming she doesn't remember because uh, of the drugs. Saw Frank. Yeah. Before the explosion. Think, Where? Yeah. In the basement. He ran out of the storm door. Rebecca ran away. I know she was murdered. 
Congratulations, you're finally getting charged. Frank Delfino, you are being charged with the first degree murder of Wesley Gibbons. I wonder if he's nervous about going back to prison. I know, he went when he was younger, didn't he? Yeah. I don't think he's scared. I killed your dad. Now we're back home. That's true. At least we know it was actually Frank that shot <laughs> Wes's dad now. Maybe he's smiling because he thinks Annalise will get out of prison. He feel, I feel like he thinks he's like made amends. Oh no, are they going to get him getting out of the car on tape? They charged him as your co-conspirator. Oh, so they're charging both of them. God's sake. He's really trying okay. for her. It's okay. It's not. I deserve this. You don't. She doesn't. Don't lose him. I'll call you soon. So does Frank know? The... Yeah, Frank knows that Bonnie killed Rebecca, doesn't he? Yeah. So Bonnie's telling him to tail words. <sighs> this all just feels like a waste now because I don't believe it at all i oh, i don't even know what to think after that that's that, that's been a lot of information a lot of it false some of it true like i don't know what to believe anymore i feel like they always lead us down these roads but then again like i thought frank shooting wallace mahoney was really obvious and then it turned out to be frank so you know anything really can happen but yeah anything can happen in the show but I really don't think Frank did it. Maybe Bonnie did it on the sly. I won't put it past her. She killed bloody Rebecca for not much reason, just for, to protect Annalise. Yeah. Um, I don't know. It's too bait if it's Frank. Yeah, it's, it's definitely not Frank. I would bet my life on it not being Frank that killed Wes. <laughs> I'm liking this sort of sus on Maggie, though, because she's been a bit of a dark horse. She's, yeah. you know... She hasn't been in the picture long. Laurel is sussing her. And I think, well, you know, Laurel's going out with Wes, her ex-boyfriend. She might be jealous, you know, yeah. lover's rage, you know. It's plausible. I don't know. Maybe Meg is, uh, Maggie is in cahoots with someone. Oh, that's a theory. I'm not sure. The DA is her sister. Can you imagine? We got a relative out the blue coming in. Yeah. But there's also we haven't heard of Hannah Keating, Sam's sister, in a while. That's still an option, but I don't know. I, I really don't know. I don't know what to think anymore. I just feel bad for Oliver. <laughs> I just I don't think it's and gonna be least. one of the main group because I don't think so either. No, I'm not feeling it. I'm not feeling it this time. Yeah, because they're going to focus on the main group. I think it's going to be someone so outlandish that, or someone that's been there on the sidelines all along that they just don't cross yeah. our mind, like Maggie or something. Like she's been under suspicion before or about things. Maybe she's got a secret psycho side to her that we don't know about and she really wanted yeah. Wes, so she just chucked him and Laurel and under the fire. I'm sure there's side characters that we've seen a couple times that could be behind this and we just don't know enough. Like, yeah, they're we... gonna get someone out of the blue, like you said. We just don't remember them right now to think no. of it. <laughs> what happened to that ginger guy from last season who... Philip? <laughs> Philip? Right, just find it out there. What happened to him? Oh, I'm no, interested. Philip turned out to be a good guy. He might be a bad one. <laughs> no, he was so good. He could be the Mahoney's. They haven't properly investigated them yet. They're a bit like on the side. We don't know that much about them. Like I hardly remember anything about them. <laughs> the family is psycho. So it could be them. Could be Hannah Keating. Could be Maggie. It could literally be, like, could be... The DA? Wouldn't put it past the DA herself, to be honest. She's so set on banging up Annalise in jail, I wouldn't be surprised. Yeah, she might have just, like, thought Annalise was inside and so she's... Because, like, Wes left the interview or whatever he was having. He didn't yeah. sign the thing, so maybe she 
thought he was going to tell Annalise, so she set fire to Annalise's house or something. I don't know, that's a bit outlandish. I wouldn't put it past you, we've got to throw these theories out there, just yeah, put them up the in the air. Theories we can. I don't know how they're going to do this. Like, Nate's a bit, I'm just saying this now, Nate's acting a bit weird at the moment. I don't know if it's just he me. <laughs> like, he's just sort of coming in and out. So he, he doesn't really seem certain which side he's on. No, I never get the vibe of like where his head's at. Like I don't know mm. if he's like on an Elisa side, if he's on the DA side. Yeah. He sort of chops and changes. And he had that weird meeting with Bonnie last episode where he literally told her nothing and then left the car. And like it's just a bit I don't really know what's up with him at the moment. He might be in contact with someone. We don't know. I'm going to go a 7.8. Fair. Lowest okay. episode rating I've given since like season one, I think. Like, mm. it wasn't a bad episode. It felt a bit slow at times. It just, to me, this just all feels like it's going to be useless because I don't think Frank did it. Annalise will probably get out of jail and so will Frank. So I feel like this is just a waste of time. Like we don't need Frank confessing because we know he's going to get off the hook in the end. Because I don't think he did it at all. Unless they prove me wrong and Frank does turn out to be the one that did it. Then I'll be very surprised. But I just feel I'll, like it's I'll not really necessary. <laughs> yeah, I'll be pissed off at Frank. I thought he was going to die and then he turned out to be the bloody murderer. No thanks. I completely agree with you. I'm going to give it a 7.5. I felt like this ep was quite a filler ep, in my opinion. It felt more just getting all the sort of admin boring stuff out the way to me. Like, yeah. I don't know. I just didn't... It wasn't like, you know, bang, interesting, like a lot of these episodes are where there's like a plot twist, there's a surprise. I didn't really, I didn't really get that from this episode, but I did like it because obviously we saw more of Annalise and Jowl and we saw like what the Keaton Five were up to, because obviously that is, you know, what we want to see. If yeah. we had skipped this and went straight on to the next episode, I feel like we wouldn't be confused about anything at all, because nothing big really happened. Yeah. Like. We already knew Frank confessed last episode. We knew Annalise was in jail. We knew she wasn't, she, we knew she failed her bail hearing. Like nothing big really happened. It was just them all trying to get information out of each other and failing at it. So that's it for today guys. Thank you for watching our reaction to season three, episode 11 of How To Get Away With Murder. If you want to watch the episode in its entirety, then the link to the Patreon page will be in the description below. But don't put any pressure, it's just for people that want to watch the episodes along with us. Leave a like if you enjoyed and we'll see you next time for episode 12. Bye. Bye.